In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six vertical options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see a pipe or the rod comes. And when I click, it will show the option one you can see here. Then the option two with some different color combination, then option three, four, five, and six. I have created one more slide without the animation and you can change the, the options from the bottom also. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. You can join my WhatsApp group. The link is provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle vertically, maybe this much size, you can see here, then align center, align middle, and shape outline, make it no outline, and I'm going to use some gradient fill for this, right mouse click, go to format shape, under fill, select the gradient fill, by default there are four stops i'm going to use uh, maybe six stops here and the type let it be linear and direction i'm going to use uh, something linear right or linear left so here first i'm going to select and i'm going to give some darker color here you can see here both the ends i'm going to give some darker color and here i'm going to add somewhat lighter you can see a light gray color here also you can add the same light gray color and I'm going to add one more stop where I'm going to use more lighter color. You can see here, and let me just remove the guide so it looks something like this. Now I'm going to select this, duplicate this, press Ctrl D to duplicate, reduce the height, you can see here, and increase the width a little bit, and then just put it here. So how many options you need, based on that, you can add those that many options. So I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to give some different color combination here. So I'm going to maybe I'm going to use a kind of a purple say a dark purple both the ends I'm going to use the dark purple and then the next one I'm going to use somewhat lighter color so I can choose maybe this color and for this also I'm going to choose the same and in the center I'm going to choose more lighter color to get the glossy look you can see here something like this. And if you want to make more darker also, you can add uh, two more stops, uh, something like that. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert shapes and from the block arrows, I'm going to select this shape, which is arrow pentagon, draw the arrow. You can see here something like this, this much size, depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease and shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give the same color or you can give lighter color depending on your requirement now at this end i want to give some different color so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle the area where we want to cut so i'm going to select this hold the shift key select the rectangle go to merge shape and just say intersect you can see here and let me just change the background color I'm going to give some gradient fill and for this gradient fill I'm going to use only two stops so and the type I'm going to make it as radial direction from center in the center I'm going to make it a kind of white and here at the corners I'm going to make it kind of a gray color and this one I'm going to make it as a white and then just put it on top of this you can see here and I can select both of these and group it also now i'm going to select this and i'm going to add the other side select this press ctrl d to duplicate give some gap you can see it depending on how much options you're adding based on that you can add the gap then i'm going to select this you can see here then go to format rotate i can just rotate flip horizontal and then just attach it here and make sure that this is properly aligned you can see here this small gap is there so we need to correct that one something like this you can see here and this also i'll just move it a little bit yeah so now i'm going to select both of these options press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to add it here like this again make sure that 
equal spaces given and then this also I'm going to select and then I'm going to add it here and if you want you can add one more at the top so depending on your requirement you can add uh, that many options and uh, you can see here again just align it properly because something is visible here some small uh, let me just bring it down for this also I have to just bring it down and then uh, it's time to change the color according to our requirement so let me just select this and I can give maybe a blue color combination starting with some dark blue both the ends and then somewhat lighter you can see here maybe I can use this one here also I'm going to use the same color and in the center I'm going to use more light color you can see here and then here also I'm going to use maybe the same color likewise I can just change the color according to our requirement now once you have changed the colors now it's time to add the options so go to insert text box I'm going to say starting with 01 you can see here center align make it bold increase the size choose any good font so this is generally I like so I always use this one so this is the first option I'm going to keep depending on your requirement either you can use the first on the top or you can use this also so control D to duplicate and then I'm just going to do the I'm just adding here one by one and later on I can just change the numbers you can see here let me just put it here then this would be 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 all right now you can add if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can use the icons if you don't have the icons then i have provided uh, some 500 free icons you can check on my uh, channel and you can download that one so i'm just going to add this you can see here and i'm going to make height and width as 0.5 only and the color i'm going to use it white then i'm just going to add on to each option you can see here something like this and the last one and then you can add the title and the detailed text so let me just add the detailed text so here again I'm just going to add make a white font reduce the size control D to duplicate just add one by one by pressing control D So like this you can add the text now we have added all the options it's time to add some uh, kind of uh, shadow effect so I'm going to select this press ctrl C and ctrl V go to format shape fill make it black increase the transparency level maybe 60 or 65 percent and go to soft adjust increase the size a little bit then I'm just going to put it here something like this you can see here Control D so I'm just going to put it for all one by one and again Control D I'll just rotate it then just add it here and the last one I'm just adding it here and then I'm going to select all go to format send it to pack and you can add a uh, shadow effect for this also i'm going to select this press ctrl d again go to format shape fill black increase the transparency level you can see here then this also you can increase the soft edges and then just add one by one here this also sent to back you can see something like this you can just add it add one by one and then I'm just going to select this the shadow effect sorry then send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect has been added now it's time to do the animation before adding the animation make sure that you group it all you can see here I'm just selecting these options and I'm grouping it one by one 
so this also group and this also group it group control g you have to press control g to group it let me just close this format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one first the the pipe and then for this i'm going to use a fly in you can see it comes from bottom and then i'm going to start with this you can use uh, maybe again the fly in i'm going to use say fly in instead of from down or you can make it up up depending on your requirement and then double click this increase the bounce and you can see here and click ok so it comes something like this and if you want to reduce the speed then you can go to the time duration you can make it fast also so it comes something like this then i'm just going to select this animation painter you can see here this is second double click this i'm going to just add the animation for all one by one so let me just play if i play you can see here it comes something like this